Well, good morning. Today we're going to finally harvest our Kennebec white potatoes out of the containers. We've really been looking forward to that. So just remember, I like them French fried potatoes. All right then. Well, today we're going to harvest the last of our three varieties of uh, potatoes that we grew in the containers. Today we're going to do the Kennebec Whites. And they're the last ones because they're a mid to late season tater, so they take a little bit longer than the Pontiac Reds and the Yukon Golds. But they're, they're ready to go, and uh, we've had a lot of rain, so I want to try to get them out before more comes. The, the, the buckets are kind of heavy because can't get the rain to cooperate with us this year but let's get them out before they start to root rot so the first thing I want to do is I want to trim my stems on my potato plants where I leave about 12 inches of stem still sticking up because that gives me a handle to hang on to when I dump the bucket I can grab those stems and kind of shake the taters out kind of helps me find them so let me show you how I do that pretty simple process See how I left a little bit there? It gives me some little handles. So let me go ahead and get the um, rest of these buckets trimmed down and then we'll start dumping them out, opening presents. We'll see you back in a few minutes. Uh, today I'm gonna get Nancy to give me a hand because uh, it'll go a little quicker if two of us do it. And it's kind of fun to do, so she wants to have a little fun with me. So I'm gonna dump them out and get them ready and uh, we'll get to work.
Find them any taters? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Keep looking, they'll show up. That's some pretty ones. Can of fact white's a good eating tater. line is all right let's let's see what we got those are some those are some uh, pretty looking potatoes nice and white they're gonna taste real good Don't forget, these skins are real soft. And you don't want to take this tater and wash it off because the water just makes it even softer. You can hold that under a running faucet and the skin would just fall right off. So we're going to leave the dirt on them and we're going to go in the house and put them in some cardboard box lids and set them out on the dining room table for a couple of weeks and let those skins cure. You can eat them immediately, but um, if you want to store them for a while, you need to let the skins cure for two weeks. So don't wash your taters. We're trying to be kind of gentle with them because they easily bruise when they first come up like this. So I don't want to throw them in the bucket. I want to kind of lay them in there easy as I can. Don't forget, all these little tiny taters like this, don't throw them away. Nancy makes tater candy out of that, so I'm gonna save those because I'm looking forward to some tater candy. as full as I can get that bucket. The outside numbers here are pounds, the inside number are kilograms. And as you can see, it's sitting right on, sitting right on 31 pounds. I usually knock off a pound for the bucket, so we'll just call it an even 30 pounds of uh, Kennebec Whites, and uh, that's a not a bad harvest for four containers. So we, uh, we thank you, Lord, for that bountiful harvest. We will certainly enjoy it, and uh, if you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel. We'd love for you to be a part of our YouTube family. We also have a Facebook page called Hollis and Nancy's Homestead. If you like that social media, come on over and click that like button and be a part of that with us as well. So until we see you next time, always remember, by, by his hands, hands we are fed. fed. Give, Give us, Lord, Lord our, our daily, daily bread. bread. Amen. Amen.
Thanks for watching our videos. We really love making them. If you like our videos, please like our Facebook page to get the latest tips and tricks. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the newest video. Like it. It would really inspire and encourage us. But most importantly, share it to encourage others. We'll welcome your comments and questions. Thank you. Have a blessed day.